Have you ever imagined a large language model that's not just large, but savvy enough to search the internet? In this video, we are gonna be building a game-changing large language model that's not just an AI text wizard. Not only can it understand and generate text, but it has a unique trick up its sleeve. It can search the internet for real-time information. It's like your super smart friend that always has the latest info. This, folks, is where the magic really happens. All right, so the very first thing we wanna do is open up our Visual Studio Code, and I already have a virtual environment created with our main.py file, and the very first thing we Need to do is go ahead and install the dependencies that we need for this application. We need to go ahead and say pip install streamlit langchain open AI and Google search results. Now this is going to download all the dependencies that we need for this application. Now the next step that we need to do after all of these dependencies are installed is we need to set up our OpenAI API key and our SERP API key. So let's first start by saying export OpenAI underscore API underscore key equals and here go ahead and add your OpenAI API key that you can get from the OpenAI website after making an account. All right, after exporting your OpenAI key, we need to make sure that we export our SERP API API key. Now you can get this by going to the SERP API website and creating an account as well. This is completely free. All right, and of course, I'm not gonna be showing the API keys for obvious reasons. So after you export those two keys, we can now start coding our application. Now, the first thing we need to say is from langchain.agents, we want to import load tools and initialize agent. Now an agent in something like Langchain is going to be a worker. It's gonna be doing something behind the scenes to help us achieve our goal. Now in this case, we're gonna be using an agent to be able to search the internet if our open AI, which is ChatGPT, cannot find the information for us. So since ChatGPT and open AI only has data up to 2021, if it can't find the data that we need, we're gonna be using our agent to then search the internet to find the top Google result for the answer. We then wanna say from langchain.llms, we want to import OpenAI. And then lastly, we wanna say import streamlit as st. All right, now the first thing we can say is st.title, where we can say, ask any question where we can create a new variable of prompt which is equal to st dot text input where we can say ask your question here so this is going to be streamlit and this is going to be the ui that we're creating for our application now the next thing we need to do is create a variable of llm which is equal to our open ai and OpenAI is gonna take in one parameter of temperature and I'm gonna say 0.6. Temperature is the creativity or the uniqueness of the solution that we're asking. This has nothing to do with searching the internet. This is the larger language model itself. So if it does have an answer, it's gonna return this based on creativity. And if not, and there is no answer, we are going to search the internet. Now here, I'm gonna to say tool names equals, and inside this list, I'm gonna say SERP API tools equals load tools where we need to pass in our tools names and now we need to go ahead and create the agent by saying agent equals initialize agent where we pass in our tools our llm our agent which is going to be equal to zero dash shot dash react dash description now, this is a very standard agent name that we can use for a bunch of different use cases. And then lastly, let's say verbose is equal to true. All right, perfect. Now we wanna say if prompt. So if the user asked a question, we wanna say the response is gonna be equal to our agent dot run. And inside our run, we are gonna pass in the prompt that the user asked. And then we can say st.write and pass in the response. To run this application, we wanna say streamlet run our main.py. This will kick off streamlet and run the entire application that we see right here. Let's go ahead and open up our application. So here it says, ask any question, ask your question here. 
Just for simplicity's sake, we need to figure out a question that didn't exist before 2021. So I'm just gonna say, what is Langchain? If we run this application, it says it's thinking, it's running, it's going to figure out that our large language model of OpenAI does not know the answer. Langchain is a framework designed to simplify the creation of applications using large language models. Now, what's really cool here is this is not what we would get from a ChatGPT. If we opened up ChatGPT right now and we asked, what is Langchain? It's not going to know the answer because it's going to say, I'm sorry, but as of now, my knowledge cutoff is September of 2021. This project that we just created also got the same answer from OpenAI, knew that the answer was incorrect, called the agent, and the agent is what returned this answer right here. So what is Langchain? We got this answer back. If we go back to our application, we can see that it's entering a new agent executor. So I should research this and it's telling us that we need to research what is Langchain. So it found the observation of Langchain is this framework and it said this should be enough to answer the question. So it found the observation, understood our request, and it returned a response that was appropriate. This is exactly what we wanted and we just created our own chatbot that if it cannot find the answer, it's going to search the internet to find it for us. If you wanna learn more about Python hacks with fast API, Langchain, and just this overall world of AI, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.